we have to draw a line between a genuine mistake that was meant in the best interests of uh, those involved and a selfish act that hurts others. Corruption is essentially uh, when someone abuses a public office or a public role for private gain. So it's about the process. It's about how they use um, resources or powers to look after themselves or their friends um, or some sort of distant acquaintance in a way that's not in the job spec. The definition of corruption varies quite a lot. I would argue the principles remain consistent, but the context means that you, you have to move with where you are. And because people don't think about corruption first, they think about what they're doing, whether it's uh, you know, playing football or whether it's governing a country, whatever it may be, um, you often find yourself in a position you didn't expect to be. It's often a long process where someone will get drawn into um, often a series of relationships, um, that lead them to do something that appears totally inconsequential um, and yet it is, is certainly a, what I would understand as corruption. While the Sussex Centre for the Study of Corruption is the only interdisciplinary centre for the analysis of corruption in Europe and arguably the world, depends how you define these things, um, and that's, uh, that gives us a lot, of, you know, a lot of scope to do really interesting research. We can bring on economists, we can bring on political scientists, strong development studies tradition at, at Sussex as well. All of these different approaches can, at different times and different ways, hopefully help us make sort of real impact generating research. We're going to work with the International uh, Anti-Corruption Unit of the Metropolitan Police um, to try and help them coordinate their activities. Because one of the problems they have is they know that um, corrupt acts happen in Britain, but often they involve um, international jurisdictions. People will then sort of move abroad. People will then have done the transaction abroad, but it goes through London. So they're trying to find ways of uh, ensuring that money laundering, um, of ensuring that um, people using corrupt proceeds to buy things like houses, to buy things like uh, the education of their children, is a little bit more difficult in the UK, but they can't do that on their own. They need information from other anti-corruption units around the world. So we're looking at how they can do that and how they can become a little bit more efficient in, in getting basically criminals uh, uh, up in front, of a, uh, in front of a judge. Humans are imperfect beasts. We all make mistakes, um, but a mistake is not a corrupt act. Okay? And I think we have to draw a line between a genuine mistake that was meant in the best interests of uh, those involved and a selfish act that hurts others.